Okay, now that you can see that I'm actually inside of Photoshop here with the UV layout for our stickers, or one half of our stickers, which is, you know, the left side of our stickers of the UV map that we actually exported. I'm going to show you to, how to go ahead and apply some sticker materials or sticker textures to them so that we can then take this inside of Maya and then apply that material to our object and uh, we'll go ahead and get that ready for rendering as well. So first thing that we need to do is you can see that the background layer here which is our UV map comes out from Maya as a locked image and if you just double click on it and you can come up with it'll just pop up a new window that's a new layer just hit OK and this will unlock that layer so we can then turn that layer off and do whatever we want with it but we need to if we go ahead and turn it off you can see that there's nothing behind it and this is because we need to actually put a layer there this UV is just to basically be a UV layout and it's going to show us a template of how to go ahead and place those images so we need to go ahead and actually place a background image behind it so that we can then actually go ahead and put uh, our sticker textures onto. So we'll just come down here in the bottom right and click create a new layer button and we'll just move the UV map above the, the layer 1 which is going to be our background. Okay and then we'll just go ahead and fill that with a color which is going to be black. Same thing as pretty much our UV map there okay and these are sticker textures that I've downloaded from Google and some other image sites and you know we just need to go ahead and select which ones that we want to go ahead and use here and I want to try to give myself a variety of, of images to go ahead and use so we'll go ahead and use this the Grand Hotel Paris one to give it a little bit more of a European feel and we just need to go ahead and select enough of it there and that should be good I'm going to go ahead and move this off so we can see what we're doing there. I'll go ahead and minimize that one. Just grab our, our move tool here. We'll go ahead and place this into the actual textures of the stickers. Go ahead and turn our UV to screen so that we can see through it. And as you can see, that this comes in pretty small. We really need to scale this up and place it properly. So depending on where we're going to place this, we need to just go ahead and scale it. And I'm hitting alt Control shift to scale it uniformly. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and move this down to that one. I'm going to rotate a little, little bit here to go ahead and try and place this properly. And it's all about how you want to go ahead and line this up. basically. We'll go ahead and rotate this a little bit more. Just move the pivot down here to the corner. And this will just take a little bit of editing to get this to go ahead and fit properly. And there I'm just using the warp tool to go ahead and try and place it properly so that it fits correctly. And you just have to be a little bit careful in terms of you know being able to place it right and just making sure that it lines up correctly here. double checking to make sure you know it's pretty much on the inside portion of the UVs there hit control D or control T 
turn off the UVs and that looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and select another one here. Um, we'll use this Roma Continental. Trying to basically just select it on the blue portion of it. Drag this one into our <coughs> UV map. Um, go ahead and scale that, or uh, yeah, minimize that window so we aren't going to use it here. Scale this Roma Continental up here. We're going to need to rotate this a little bit. Probably have to scale this up just a little bit more. Okay, turn back on our warp tool and just start editing it so that we can get it to place correctly. And I'm trying to be careful in terms of I don't want to warp it too much because I don't want it to, you know, cause any stretching and and look weird whenever we go to go over to render it. I'll zoom in here a little bit more to try and place this correctly. And this just takes a little bit of time to get this to, you know, fit right and basically be edited right so it's going to look fine whenever we go to render this. Uh, it looks like it's placed okay. hit control T so I can get to the, the move tool just double click and then you can see that that's placed fine and we'll go ahead and bring up uh, another one here um, I don't know if I actually want to use any from this or if I want to use a couple from this one here um, the main the main thing is here I want to try to match the shape correctly in terms of like these UVs I want to match the shape on one of these and so we'll go ahead and select this Regina Palace Stressa I guess it is select this one let's go ahead and move this over a little bit and use the move tool and bring that over I'll just drag that onto my other monitor there scale this one up a little bit we have to rotate this one as well we're going to use the the warp tool again as well to go ahead and get this one to be placed properly Like I said, it just takes a little bit of time to to go ahead and edit these, you know, pretty much properly so that it's going to fit here. Just trying to lay it out right. I'll go ahead and grab another one here. Um, And 
we'll use that travel adventures here. And just drag these back off to my other monitor. I have to scale this up a little bit. Definitely going to have to go ahead and rotate this one as, <coughs> as well. And we'll need the warp tool here again. to grab two more here. Um, and, and this is just all on, you know, trying to pick which one you like and just going going ahead and trying to get something that's going to fit fine. Um, we'll use this uh, GD Hotel Le Pie or Lausanne Swiss. Oops, put that in the wrong, Im wrong image there. We gotta go ahead and rotate this. do the warp tool again. As you can see it's just basically the same thing repeated time and time again. To get everything you know placed properly and textured correctly here. And I want to make sure that <coughs> I turn the UVs off there just to make sure that everything's, you know, fitting nice. I'm going to go ahead and save this as a PSD. And we need to go ahead and save this into our uh, project folder here. And I'll just save it in the source images folder of our project. And we'll go stickers, um, texture make sure it's save it as a PSD and then we also want to save it as a JPEG and I'm only doing that just so I don't have you know in case Photoshop or something crashes I don't have to do it again and then we're gonna grab one last one here and um, we'll go with this see the country world road USA that way it's you know going to be a mix of European and um, American stickers. Just trying to be careful there so that we don't get the, the too much of the railroad sign one so we can just you know simply delete that off. Go ahead and close that. Close that one. Scale this up and rotate it. Using control alt and shift so I can scale it uniformly. We'll go ahead and rotate this one. Use our warp tool again. Just trying to get it to line up properly. And I'm 
going to do it a little bit over the UV there so I can take and delete that railroad one off or the railroad portion of it off I'm just being careful here, careful here that I line this up correctly Hit control T, double click, and then that way you can see that it's placed fine. And I'll just go ahead and draw a lasso around that portion of it to then go ahead and fill that with white. And then I'm going to select all the layers that are our sticker layers. Hit control E to merge them. Turn off our UVs. We'll go ahead and save this as a PSD file, as the PSD that we saved. Then go ahead and save it as the JPEG file as well. And since that's textured, we'll go back here into Maya. We're going to go ahead and create a new V-Ray material. Plug a file <coughs> node into our diffuse color there. And turn our quadratic off of off again. Look for our stickers texture JPEG, which is there. Let it load. Apply that to our objects. And there you go. The stickers are then textured, and we can go ahead and start texturing the rest of our car in the next lesson.